Now, I'm going to be tying this fly here. This is a Colonel Bowman, uh, Dalback as I call it. It's basically, because it's a black fly with the, the red tail, which you normally get like in a traditional wet fly called the Colonel Dowman. But it's been tied in the, the Dalback style. Now, this is a good Dalback. It's a good fly for midge, early season midge, like the duck fly especially. Uh, or any, like the grey boy or so. These are really nice patterns. The, the red tail is a highlight. You can you can either leave it off, you can put the black a black tail on it, it's up to yourself. But the red tail works. Now the hook I'm using is the Fully Mill. It's a competition heavyweight size 10. Best sizes are 10s, 12s, 14s. Now this is the black nickel version. Uh, the standard one would work as well. Just It's, it's just the black nickels. It's a good colour. So it's the fly. Now thread I'm going to be using. The, the uni thread AO in black. Just simply start at the eye and we work our way down. Now we can tie it and we can stop in the pointer hook or we can go a wee touch further. Now I'm going to stop it in between the point and the barb and I'm going to tie in the tail. Now the tail, this is a dyed red rump feather from a golden pheasant. Now you could use red cock hackle fibres, it's up to yourself. But I'm using the rump feather, it's nice and bright. Now I've got one I've started on here, so just you don't need a lot of fibres. Quite easy to line the ends up on this, just tear them away. Now you're looking for a tail length around about the shank. Tie that on the top. Now these two turns are one are actually working down the hook, as you can see there. And then I'm going to trim it the full length of the body there. Yeah. The rib of the fly, I'm using a silver tinsel. Now it could be a pearl as well. Uh, you could, really, you could experiment, but the silver's works. This is the silver tinsel and small. Catch this on with a thumb, just to hold. The body, I'm using a dyed black peacock hair. It's going to tie it in at the tips. Again, we catch this in full length of the body. And then I'm just going to work my way up. Just all the way up. Now give yourself a good mill and a half or so from the eye. Now what I'm going to do here is go down halfway and then come back up. This will help taper the body a wee bit better. Now the peacock kettle is a weak five or so. To protect that I'm going to wind this towards myself. The rib will hold it better if you cross it with the rib in the normal way. And so just work my way up. Nice and tight. Get to this point, we come across the hero with a turn onto the hook, and then a turn on the hook, cross the hero and a turn on the hook. And that locks it in. Trim away the waist. Now I'm going to form like a thorax in the top. Now I'm going to use a pearl, a medium pearl, number 14. Now what we do is we wind up, we do a turn at the back, go one, two, Come into the third turn here, what I do is quite simple. Just catch in the pedal on the top, basically rub this on, let the rib hold it. And we keep going up, just making sure it's secure. Get to sit where you want. It's simple really. Catch in both a couple of turns. You can trim away the pedal and the tinsel. We can bring this over the top. Just basically doubles up, catch that on, two or three turns, again we can trim this away, just a wee touch of wax on my thread at this point, just tidy the head area up. Now the throat of the fly can just be black, then the kernel downman, the, the, the hackle is black normally and the wing is grey, but what you can do, I've got a dyed grey hackle here, now I'm going to mix these fibres. I'm just going to lay one on top of the other. Uh, like you'll see here. Bring them out together. This will mix them. You can see that. Once we're happy and the tips are lined up, we can tear it away. Just bring them together. You're looking like a... See, to the point of the hook or slightly by, it's up to yourself. And all I do is do a pinch and loop up the way. Two or three turns, come under, trim away the waist. 
Now, it's important to put a wee bit of wax on your thread here and then secure in these ends, tidy the head area up. I mean, you can stop at that, that's a nice dull back pattern itself. Uh, nothing wrong with that. A colour combination, you usually can't go far wrong. Now, you can highlight the by giving the wing buds. Now, I'm using these are split jungle cock eyes. Uh, I'm just going to take one off. You could use, if you want, you could use goose by it. I'm just going to draw back the fibres here, I don't need. Let's tie these on the top and split, just force the split down either side of the, the body. I can remember two or three turns. You quite look, see how they're sitting now. See one eye slightly a lot wider than the other, but I'm trying to use these up. So, what I'm going to do is go back and bring that down a wee bit. So, it's just a wee bit too high up on that side. I think it's okay. And then we can carry it down to the eye. Fold this back so that we've pulled the back and tucked the jungle cock in so it'll never pull out. Nothing worse than the, the eyes falling off. Just keeping the thread tight, we can then quite finish. Trim away your thread. We can trim this away. See how things are sitting. That looks okay. Now I'm going to varnish the head. So what I'm going to do, use a super glue first though. I'm going to lightly come round with the super glue on the head. Now this is a fully mill super glue with the brush. And I've tapered the brush into a point so it's easy to apply. Now that sets really quick. And then I, within a minute or two I can varnish that. If you want to highlight the thorax, you can with the resin. I've got the UV resin here. All I'm making sure here is that there's no hair all on the top. You get your torch ready, so we come over here. You can use a light or a, or a heavy. It's up to yourself. You can then set the resin. You should do it. And then we can varnish the head because the super glue should be dry. And this will finish the fly off. Just come all the way around. Just a nice clear varnish. I like to just tiny wee bit onto the thorax here, yeah, just to keep it highlighted. And there we are. It's a simple dial back. Uh, the red tail, you could see you could have it black if you want. Uh, but this red works extremely well, so I hope we enjoy that.